Visit CCG Castle .com and get 5% discount on your purchase with TCG Center 5 code. Check read the description or visit CCG Castle for more. Hey, what is going on, Pokey fans? Welcome back to Pokemon TCG Center. In this video, I'm going to play with uh, Altaria GX, Altaria Drampa, a little bit updated version of the deck that I um, built a couple days ago with just this, uh, just the uh, regular Altarias and Drampas. And yeah, this looks like a more um, Tehi deck, as you can see in front of you, with uh, some Volcanion, Prism, Latias, uh, Tapu, Le Tapu Coco, Rangru. It looks just interesting. And uh, Rogue as well. So, 17 Pokemon, 32 trainer cards, and 11 energies. Let's just take a closer look to the um, cards that we have in this build. So, obviously, instruct the Rangru for the, um, for the draw support. I kind of like it. There's the um, Swablu times four, also two Altaria GXs with the Bright Tone. Um, once we manage to hit with the Bright Tone against our opponent GX, that's pretty much it. Uh, our opponent GX Pokemons are not going to be in a position to deal any damage. Sunny Cage uh, for 110. Euphoria, Euphoria GX can also heal all damage from Altaria, which is amazing. Um, the good thing about Sunny Cage is the fact that this damage at uh, this attack damage isn't affected by any effects of our opponent's active Pokemon. Um, two Altarias with a Fight Song, so we can add 20 more damage. Um, obviously, reprinted Altaria from the uh, Dragon's Exalted. I think with 10 more HP. And one Retreat less, if I'm not wrong. But maybe I am. Um, three Drampas with a dra Dragon's Wisdom. They can also hit for 20, charge up our Altarias on the bench. Um, Latias times one. Um, it's a Prism Star Pokemon, but uh, it's an interesting attacker with the Dragon's Fleet, uh, 50 for each um, equal Dragon in play. So if we can have at least 3 Altarias in play on the Choice Band, we can hit for 180, which is a lot. Um, Tapu Koko for the damage spread in some situations can be interesting tech just because I'm playing uh, Energy Switches, but pretty good because, um, for example, we can spread damage around the board as well. Two copies of Tapu Lele GX and one Volcanion with the Jet Kazir since we are playing Water Energies. I thought to myself it would be pretty interesting to take also one Volcanion. So, that's it for now. Speaking about um, Pokemons, moving on to the item cards, to energy switches. Why not? Because from nowhere we can surprise our opponent playing energy switch. Two enhanced hammers, um, field blower times two as well. And four copies of the Mystery Treasures. Three Nazbols, that's pretty much for the Pokemon Search. Um, single Pulp Pad and two Rescue Stretchers. Well, there is, to be honest, a lot of item cards. So in the situations, in the matchups against Garbodor and Boswell, it all depends how good our opponent will be able to draw. That's my opinion. Um, then I'm running two copies of uh, Atzerolas, so I can scoop my heavily damaged Pokemon from play. In this case, obviously, GX Pokemons like Tapalela and Voltaria, where I can also... Prevent my opponent from taking two prize cards, two copycats, four Cynthia's, obviously, um, three Guzmas, and the two copies of Judge for the hand disruption. And in addition to that, running three copies of Choice Bend, seven four energies, speaking about fairy and uh, water energies. And that's it. That's the deck list that I'm going to use in this video. Make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos. It's going to help me a lot. And let me know also in the comments below what you think about this deck. So... Yeah, let's see some gameplay so you can actually uh, judge by yourself how good or how bad this deck will be, so see in the game. Okay, so starting first with the Swablu is not bad. Just because I also have two Mystery Treasures available at my opening hand and the Nazbolt. So this can be potentially powerful turn one setup, no doubt about it. We're gonna grab first one Rangru, then we're gonna go with Mystery Treasure for um first for water energy so I can get my um dramp in play. There we go. I'm gonna try to attach energy onto my Drampa. Um or I actually can attach energy onto my Drampa. I'm going to play another Mystery Treasure. Actually, I was going to say I'm going to attach energy onto my Swablu, not on the Drampa. Okay, 
So you struck for two. Just Altaria, but since I already have Drow support, I'm definitely gonna go with Cynthia. Okay, and looks like that's gonna be pretty much it. Potentially, I can turn to start to attack with my Altaria GX using the Bright Tone. Um, as it looks only for 50, but not bad, I guess. Um, there's the Ho-Oh GX on the other side of the field, probably meaning that I'm not gonna need those enhanced hammers in this matchup. So, powerful GX. And we did an internal um, flame GX that can simply put three basic Pokemon, uh, put three, any three fire Pokemon GX or EX for this card pile on the bench. Very powerful GX attack. But it requires actually three energy cards, so it's it's not that easy to be set up, anyways. Okay, Pot Town. That's gonna change things a little bit before I manage to evolve. to get something like uh, hmm, that's gonna be Kiave turn one I can already see that so for me it's definitely better to use that bright tone even if I'm gonna get three damage from that pot town it's not a big deal it's because this whole GX looks very aggressive and danger right now very nice top deck In this case, I'm gonna definitely go with a copycat just because I have Rangro, so I don't care too much about size of the hand, especially if I can get maybe a choice bit or something like that. Well, I couldn't get anything of that, so I'm gonna instruct for one before I hit my opponent with the bright tone. 450. The most important thing at this moment because I managed to lock my opponent from doing any damage onto my Altaria GX to the active spot. Obviously, Guzma can work, but in this scenario, it's not going to be effective anyway. Um, next turn, I can hit for 110 if I want with my Sonic Edge, but obviously, you really don't want to do something like that. Um, you really just want to keep going with your... Um... Oh, actually, he, he also played Celazel, probably Celazel GX in his build. So, for me, the most important is to get another ult having damage increase to 70 and then I can one hit knock with that Apple Coco next turn. I'm sure double hit knock it but it's gonna count like a one hit just because I'm gonna I'm gonna knock him out next turn potentially. So let's see what we're gonna get. Apple Coco is a top deck. Um, I'm gonna put it on the bench just in case why not. And then I'm going to use one instruct and then judge. Alright Nazbold not super effective, time for Judge, time to get maybe that Altaria. Ah, okay, there we go. And get one easily. So that was very important turn for me, getting that Altaria ready in place so I can have damage increase for 20. Not gonna lie. I can hit right now with my Bright Tone for 70. I, I don't care too much about that damage being done with the Pot Town. Um, not super effective. The most important thing is they managed to one hit knockout at this moment. Actually, double hit knockout. I don't know why I always try to say one hit knockout when it's not one hit knockout. Anyways, I just knocked out that Tapu Coco. That's a good thing. I can hit for 130 with Sonic Edge if I want. Obviously, I don't. And that Ho on the bench cannot go for more than 180. So even if I use that GX, that's perfectly fine. Not even Guzma can work for my opponent, so he decided to switch on the ho and pass the turn. Interesting. Do I need to use my copycat? I guess I can. I'm searching for Guzma anyways. Which I couldn't get, so that is just going to be another bright tone for 70. Um, potentially next turn Guzma for a knockout against Saladin, taking an extra prize. Um, and basically getting into the even better position. There's a choice bend, so alright, and potentially Salazzle GX, so energy attached to Tapu Lele, and it's my turn, so completely controlling the game, there's not too many things my opponent is capable to do. I'm searching for choice bends, so I can go for 100 if it's possible. 
I'll tell you one thing. I'm going to also use that field blower to get rid of those tool cards. I can knock him out and surprise him completely. To do that, I'm just gonna go for like a hundred. All right. Well, for the next turn, it's not even bad to simply um, surprise my opponent with some play like uh, Atsurola and then, you know, spreading damage with Tapu Koko. Is it that smart enough? I wouldn't say it is. As long as I'm controlling the board, I don't need to do some crazy things like that. But what I'm going but what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna definitely try to scoop this Altaria from the bench. You know, um, scooping that Altaria from the bench and putting Swablu back, using also that um, energy switch, where I can simply transfer one of those fairy energies. And then I'm gonna go with another Bright Tone. So that's gonna be super strong and super effective once again. Hitting for 80, taking two prize cards. What we can find? A Field Blower and Volcanion Prism Storm, who can also be powerful. Um, catcher with that Jet Gazer. Okay, so finally Guzma. It's probably gonna be for my Swablu on the bench. No. Tapu Koko, so he decided actually to surprise me here. Um, oh, so he can snipe me on the bench for like a 50. Hmm. Very interesting decision that was. Luckily, I'm gonna have that powerful field blower play. And one Cynthia. There's another Altaria. Very important. And in this case, I can go for like a hundred and forty. But since he already attacked me, um, I think I'm gonna actually go with GX with a choice ban. And if he managed to wake up, he can potentially knock me out. But that's just not gonna happen right now. I don't know if he have other Guzma in his hand or not. I just decided to gamble and. Uh, take the win in this game, so pretty effective, you know, against G pure GX deck, your opponent will not have, opponents are not going to stand a chance against this Altaria Bright Tone, you just need a single Altaria if you play against GX deck and uh, you have victory in your hands, so that's the GG. Alright, so a little bit updated version of regular Altaria Dramp deck that I used videos ago. Oof, what an opening hand. What a mess. Really it is. I hope I'm gonna get something good and useful. If not, I think I'm probably just gonna go with... Uh... Yeah, interesting. Never mind. Let's just be aggressive from the start using the energy attachment to our blue and passing the turn Boswell Garbador probably very disgusting deck to play against um, with Shroud of Punishments and uh, with just a single prize attacker um, that deck is very powerful and also that Garbador is super strong in the late game Oh, so just a stomp off? Oh, what an amazing top deck that would be. So that's all I can do for now. Copycat was a top deck, but stomp off just discarded. And there's a trash lunge. Garbador. It's interesting that Trash Lunch Garbador still didn't grow in price. I mean, it's just like a one dollar a piece. The reason, the main reason for that is also the fact that they reprinted it in the um, blister packs. 
so um, you can even get a promo version of it. I guess promo version is a little bit more expensive, um, but still, it's a oh, so already he's hitting for fifty with just a single energy card. That's amazing. Well, when that's the case, we're just gonna go for the trubbish play, and I will just try to. Hit with my bright tone for 50. There's nothing else I can literally do. If I if if I decide to burn more item cards, um, the damage will just be increased even more, and I really don't want to do that. The main focus right now is oh, uh, there's a switch. So the main focus for me right now is just to get energy card in play. Literally all I really need. Dash Lynch, hitting for 50, 60, and there's already a tons of damage. So I guess where it's possible, um, start for me here is to take another top level. I guess it's not even worth to use the Field Blower because another Shroud of Punishment will just hit the ground. And uh, I'm gonna go with the Cynthia Blade. I still have two at Sorolla, so hopefully I can hit one for the next turn. And my opponent is 40 because I have two item cards. At least I can go for that Sonic Edge and take the very important knockout versus that Garbodor. 110 since he already had 10 from the rainbow energy i'm gonna get fast knockout and obviously 10 damage between turns with the shroud of punishment so for the next turn i guess i'm gonna try to scoop one of my top levels from the bench i really don't want to get my opponent i really don't want to get my opponent the easy to prize knockout um again he can go for 40 even with the choice been up to 70 with the trash line so that's not going to be enough for the knockout but obviously once that boswell uh, hits the ground he might be in a position to take a lot of damage and meanwhile i'm going to grab that top level from play and that is going to be euphoria yeah, we can actually even try to do that. If if my opponent flip tails of the coin flip, which he want. Never mind. Ten damage is better than 150 and knock. So there's no play. He decided to go for a rank. That's not a bad thing at all. Just because I have top level for available in my hand and I'm gonna definitely go for the knockout against it. Boswell. Boswell is right now very um, strong. He really is. Okay, since my opponent only had one card in his hand. Oh, actually I'm gonna play out Sorolla instead. No, 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 no. I almost do that. I need my Guzman. I'm not gonna gamble. I'm not gonna gamble, I'm gonna go for that Guzma play. And I will also risk with the uh, field blower as well, just because my opponent have only one card in his hand. It's a mystery card, you never know what it is. I might be able to hit that Altaria with ability. <clears throat> that would be amazing. Yeah, I'm actually going to do that so I can one hit knock out that Boswell. Or maybe not. It looks like the both of them are prized. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, so with a Sonic Edge, I still have enough time to not evolve my Altaria GX just in case of the. Um, yeah, in case of Guzma, I'm gonna lose a Swapple, that's for sure, but in case of the. Um, Shroud of Punishment, I would get one damage per turn, and I really don't want to do that. 
Uh, another puzzle on the bench. Four item cards in the disco pile and another Guzma for my Ranguru. So he's really annoyed with that Ranguru. I think I'm going to use him right now because I have enough item cards in the disco pile and that's not something I was hoping for. But at least another energy is a top deck. Okay, so far I'm somehow managing to control the game and taking the prize advantage. Sooner or later I can also even uh, snipe my Boswell, my opponent Boswell on the bench. What the heck, just another choice, Ben, come on. Rescue Stretcher would be amazing for that Rangro, I guess, top deck. Even that wouldn't be that bad, but uh, yeah, it won't happen. Fighting Energy, and right now Sledgehammer hitting for 120. That's just insane. That is just insane. I'm not in a position to take the knockout. I just top deck that Nas Ball as a top deck, which I don't need. So all I can do is hit with my Sonic Edge, and next turn my opponent is taking huge two price swing knockout. But at least those two Pokemon on the bench are very close to be knocked out. With the Boswell. So if I can top deck, maybe Cynthia. All right, interesting. Sledgehammer. If I can top deck Cynthia, I can do a lot of things, especially with the energy switch. But it looks like that's, that is just not going to happen. Well, at least he has zero cards in his hand, so I guess it's time for the Nas Ball. So I can grab myself maybe another. Um... What about Swablu? Is that a smart thing to do? I think I'm gonna get that Drampa in play instead. All right, there we go. That's the knockout. Potentially, I can take two more knockouts. Um, with my Tapu Koko next turn, it all depends on the top deck that my opponent will have. So, Sledgehammer can now be just a, 20, just a 30, or actually 50, because of the, um, the NC. And right now, I have opportunity to clear my opponent bench for now. Taking a double knockout. That's a very important thing. So fly flip for two prize cards and I'm going down to one, meaning only one thing. I'm gonna need something like an energy switch and every possible scenario, maybe not, to get the last prize card against my opponent. So even if he can knock my Tapu Koko out with the energy card, which he can't, I'm gonna be in a position to attack with my Altaria GX um, for the game. I'm not sure why I cannot say to my opponent, well play. And right now I managed to do that. So yeah, that Tapu Koko at the end actually bring the game. Um, the most important fact was the Sonic catch for 110 in the early game where I was um, in a position to swing my opponent for the one-hit knockout versus those Garbodors and that was the game-breaking um, way to win so once again i hope you guys enjoy watching this video make sure to hit a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos once again there's the deck list that i used in this video stay tuned for more upcoming videos till the next time have a nice day and goodbye